Hi guys, this is Angel from PRGB Entertainment. This is a remake for the video of how to try to restore, to retrieve your documents, files from viruses, changing your folders and files to uh, link, like to shortcuts and, you know, hiding those original files on your system, on your drive. So let's talk first what exactly is that probably is that you're seeing this is happening to you. Now, you can see here that I have a test folder that I made. You can see that these are, you look. it looks like files. They have icons and everything for folders and PDF files. You could have Word, Excel, and other uh, software. Okay, so you can have different shortcuts with different icons. But as you can see, this one is a shortcut. You can, you can notice that because it has a little arrow on the corner. Now, the original files do not have that. They do not have uh, the arrow in the corner because they are the original files. In this case, when the virus changes the file and it hides the file, and what it does is that it creates a shortcut, and in that shortcut, it adds some code to keep repeating the same setup that it has to keep spreading around your computer or your network or where the network or the computer is connected to whatever network it is. And then it opens the original file. That's the way it works. Now, you can still try to retrieve those by trying to make the files visible. I made a batch file for that. Uh, I made it a couple of years ago, and like two weeks ago, I made another batch file for a computer that I was working on, and it had the same issue because it had Windows 7, and they didn't upgrade the computer for whatever the reasons they had, but eventually they took a virus that did the same thing, that changed all their files, they encrypted their files, and changed everything to shortcuts. So it hide it hide it all the files they had. Basically, what this does is it could be a virus, it could be a malware. It depends. It depends because it could be encrypted. If it's encrypted, it's gonna be really hard for you to retrieve those files. Trust me, it's gonna be really hard. Now, the first of all things that you need to do is get a program that you can make a backup of whatever folder drive or whatever is your files i recommend that you can use macrium reflect now i'm going to show you three softwares here this is not a pay link all right this is not an advertisement i'm just telling you guys which ones you can use because i use these ones for my customers for servers working in networks and everything and they work fine work workstations servers laptops desktops anything okay so make a backup with macrium reflect you got i think a free trial of seven days or 15 i think it is but what you need to do is just back up you don't need it forever if you want it forever just buy it all right that's your choice uh after that get the antivirus avast or whatever antivirus you think is better i think this one is better i try like all the freaking antiviruses that we have online and i think avast is the best and scan your computer completely and specifically the the source folder where you have the drive where you have all your files after scanning the computer start uh start scanning with the malware bytes this is going to check for adwares and other some viruses some stuff and other tweaks that are not supposed to be on windows now after doing those three things remember the backup don't forget about that after doing those three things i'm gonna give you a file that i created which is right here i'm gonna uh if i can put it in the description i'll put it in the description if YouTube lets me put it on the description by the amount of uh, characters that we already have here. So I don't think so. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to upload a text file. And you just open the text file on the link. Click on the link. It's going to be on the description of the video. Click on Save As. And choose here on Save As Type All Files. And just put Run Scan. Uh, where's my folder? My test folder. Run Scan dot bat bat is for batch file so just save it on the source folder or drive where where 
the files are do not put the file on do not put the bash file on the windows folder please do not put it on the c drive on the root do not put it on program files i mean if your files are in my documents put it inside my documents if your files are in my pictures put it inside my pictures do not put it on any primary folder where windows has his system files don't do that you're gonna destroy your windows okay now after saving it we go back to our test folder so basically we have the batch file and we have the shortcuts which are supposed to be the viruses and this batch file what it's going to do is that it's going to try to retrieve your files as hidden files it's going to try to take all the ad attributes that it has for read only for hitting he's going to try to disable all that so they can appear on your folder and it's going to delete any exe file com file or any shortcut file like l and k extensions to try to delete the virus from that folder where everything is okay and in the subfolders also also so what you're going to do is that you're going to double click do not right click listen to me do not right click and click on run as administrator do not do that double click on the batch file do not run as administrator now i'm going to say it one time here anything that happens to your computer your data is up to you i am not responsible of your failure and I am not responsible if you do good and you retrieve your data also. I would like to know if it worked because if it worked, I'm going to spread the video as, as much as I can. I'm going to share it so people can download the code and do the same. Okay. But I am not responsible if you didn't do a backup of the system and you lost everything. Okay. So first of all, do the backup, then run the batch and do whatever else you want. Okay. Now, just double click on it. You're going to get this pressed and the key to continue. Just press the key. He's going to start running some codes. He's going to start running the disk cleanup in case that it deleted something. So I'm going to cancel this right here. And after that, if you can see, it, the, the batch file deleted the shortcuts. So after it finishes, just go to the folder where you have the files and verify if you get the original ones for that just right click click on properties first of all it's not supposed to have a, a an arrow in the corner that's the first and second it has to be the entire file it cannot have any codes any additional codes to it okay so it has to be like the location where it is and the name of the file with the extension no extra codes okay same for the folder has to be something like this it cannot have like a minus sign and some symbols and something it cannot have that it's still the virus okay if it works let me know comment on the on the box below okay this is angel from prdb entertainment if it worked subscribe i would like to have you here on the channel so you can see other things that are coming up and if you like hit the uh, thumbs up on the video see you guys next time Bye.